I had a Chinese client and she says it takes one day, one day to transfer a property title in China. Imagine how many transactions would happen if title transfers took that fast here in the Philippines. Hey guys, Alex here. Welcome back to my channel, a channel about real estate, personal finance, and business. In today's vlog, I will be sharing with you the step-by-step -step process on how to transfer the title of your house. But before anything else, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified if I have new videos like this one. Transferring the title of your real estate property is a simple and yet time-consuming process. It's simple because the process of doing this is pretty straightforward, but it's time-consuming because of all the red tape involved. The government agencies involved in the title transfer takes months to do it, and so it would typically take three to four months to transfer a title. With the pandemic going on, it now takes five to six months. I had a Chinese client and she says it takes one day, one day to transfer a property title in China. Imagine how many transactions would happen if title transfers took that fast here in the Philippines. And you know, the more title transfers, the more transactions. So the government would also earn more in taxes. So I hope that there will come a time that we can do title transfers in a week instead of half a year. Okay, so let's say you've bought your first real estate investment, which is a house and lot. You've paid for the property, you've signed the deed of sale. What's next? Step number one, submit all documents at BAR for a tax computation. The first step is to have the transfer taxes computed at KR, namely the capital gains tax at 6% and the documentary stamps tax at 5%. If you want a more comprehensive summary of all the taxes payable, I have a video on this and I'll put the link in the description box below. Step number two, pay the capital gains tax and the documentary stamps tax at any BAR accredited bank. So you can find a list of those banks at BAR. So once you have the computation from BAR, you just deposit the payment at any of the BAR accredited banks and then take the deposit slip and submit it to BAR along with the rest of the requirements. Then you just need to wait for the car or the certificate authorizing registration. The timeline for this is one to two months. And then the third step, step number three, is to submit your documents to City Hall. So once the car or the certificate authorizing registration is released, submit all the documents to City Hall and then they will compute for the transfer tax and the community tax certificate payment. So once you've paid this, usually they will release your documents within one to two weeks. And then step number four, submit the documents to the Registry of Deeds or ROD. So once you're done paying for the taxes at City Hall, the next step is to go to ROD and have the registration fee computed. Then pay for the registration fee and wait for your new title to be released. So ROD will give you a claim slip and you will need to show this to claim your new title. Usually timeline is three to four months. So again, the three government agencies that you will need to visit to transfer your title are BAR, City Hall, and ROD. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope you learned something new from this video. It's a short video today. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified if I have new videos like this one. I'll see you in my next video.